Before students move on to attempting full arms only positions, they should have a strong arms only prep in at least two different grips and preferably on both sides. It can help to strengthen this prep by using your prep progression positions, such as extended butterfly, caterpillar climb, inverted D and the flower position. The prep progression positions that are appropriate will vary from grip to grip. Start to teach this move from the flower position when students have slid the legs down the pole over the top hand and opened the knees. Ensure the student has the correct hip placement, dropped back, and torso position, hollow, and the eye line looking forwards or upwards. The top arm can be straight or bent at this point if using a split grip. If using a twisted grip, the top arm will be straight, but ensure in both grips the shoulders are fully engaged. When ready, slowly extend the legs out forwards until they are in the full straddle position. Make sure this transition is performed slowly with control so that students can identify where their centre of gravity is and how they can correct their own position. To dismount, students can either retrograde the movement, returning to the pole via the flower position, then crucifix, or they can tip down towards the floor, initiating this movement with the hips and extending the same leg as bottom arm down to the floor. Chinese grip works on the same principle as split or twisted grip with minor adjustments. The hip on the side of the cupped hand should be tilted slightly towards that arm to maintain balance. Pulling on the top arm can be used to stabilise the position as the arm is actively bent in this grip. Start to teach this move from the flower position when students have slid the legs down the pole over the top hand and open the knees. It's vital that in an elbow or forearm grip, you have distance from the pole to create the push-pull grip on the top arm. This is why the prep using the caterpillar position is really important. Ensure the grip is fully in the elbow before attempting to progress. When ready, slowly extend the legs out forwards until they are in the full straddle position. It is likely in elbow or forearm grip that students will need to drop their hips back slightly as their legs come off the pole as the top arm grip is much closer to the pole. Make sure this transition is performed slowly with control so that students can identify where their centre of gravity is and how they can correct their own position. To dismount, students can either retrograde the movement, returning to the pole via the flower position then crucifix, or they can tip down towards the floor, initiating this movement with the hips 
and extending the same leg as bottom arm down to the floor.